Welcome back to the Green Mac TV channel. A powerful Isuzu ELF combined vacuum sewage truck rolls into view, ready for the demanding work of cleaning sewage, sludge, and dark wastewaters. Its tank, built tough, is fitted with high-capacity vacuum pumps drawing in materials through long hoses, solids, liquids, oils, all handled with strength and care. Meanwhile, valves and safety handles allow operators to control pressure, avoid spills, and protect sensitive surroundings. When filled, the tank tilts or opens its rear door hydraulically, allowing safe, clean discharge at approved treatment sites. The chassis engine powers the whole system, while separators ensure only clean water exits the hoses. Every movement, from suction to discharge, is about precision and minimizing environmental impact. Trucks like this are more than machines. They help prevent pollution, protect water bodies, and support sanitation infrastructure. Clean waste removal means healthier cities, cleaner rivers, and better living for everyone. When you need to uncover hidden utilities, remove sludge, or clean underground spots safely, the HDV 6000 vacuum truck steps in. It starts with positioning. Operators stabilize the vehicle, deploy the boom, and engage powerful suction that draws waste and debris from underground cavities and trenches without damaging pipes or cables. Water tanks aboard supply the flow needed for jetting, loosening compacted soil, greasy buildup, or rocky sediment. Meanwhile, Dual blowers generate strong vacuum pressure to lift mixed waste into the spoil tank. The hose reels retract and extend, reach deep into confined areas, yet the controls remain accessible, safe, and user-friendly. Every scoop of sludge, every debris haul protects underground systems and saves time. Cleaner streets, safer utilities, healthier environment, all achieved through one machine doing its job quietly but powerfully. From the very start of the day, the vacuum truck is prepared for action. The crew inspects the engine, hoses, and valves, making sure every component is ready for the tough tasks ahead. With safety gear on and equipment checked, they roll out into the city to face the unseen challenges beneath our streets. Once on site, the hoses are carefully laid out and connected. The powerful vacuum system comes to life, drawing in liquid waste and debris hidden deep in drains and underground systems. Every second, the truck prevents blockages, protects water flow, and keeps neighborhoods safe from contamination. The operators stay alert, monitoring the process to ensure nothing leaks and every part of the job is done cleanly and efficiently. When the task is complete, the team retracts the hoses, washes down the equipment, and seals the tank. The truck then moves on to the next location, repeating the process with the same focus and dedication. By the end of the day, the vehicle returns to base where it is fully cleaned, inspected, and logged for the city's maintenance records. Behind every clean street and every flowing drain lies this unseen effort. The vacuum truck may not be in the spotlight, but its role is vital to protecting public health and keeping the city running smoothly. It's another reminder that true progress is built on everyday work that makes our communities stronger and our environment safer. From first light, the vacuum truck rolls into motion. Its engine humming, its compartment sealed, every hose and valve rigorously checked. The crew, suited in protective gear, readies themselves for another day in the field, fully aware that their work will go largely unseen, but carries profound impact. They arrive at the first site. Without fanfare, the hoses are deployed, wedges placed, fitting secured. The powerful suction takes hold. Water, sludge, and debris, buried beneath grates and within drainage systems are drawn upward, clearing, protecting, freeing. Every part of the machine runs in harmony. The nozzle, the hose, the tank, the crew, working as one to remove what clogs and mars.
Across different locations, the vacuum trucks work shifts, from cleaning storm drains to servicing containment pits, from rescuing systems challenged by grease and waste to flushing out pipes blocked by buildup. In each setting, attention to detail matters, watching pressure gauges, ensuring no leaks, guarding safety protocols, and shielding the environment from contamination. Partway through the day, the crew moves locations. The tank fills, hoses retract, equipment is cleaned. They manage traffic, rope off areas, inform residents, maintaining respect for the spaces around them. Despite size and complexity, the vacuum truck operates with precision and care, leaving little trace of its passage, except clean drains, open channels, and safe grounds. As the sun begins to dip, the final sights are addressed, the hoses are washed down, the tools sanitized, and the tank securely sealed. Back at base, the vehicle is washed, checked, and logged. The crew records volumes handled, conditions encountered, and actions taken. Though the vacuum truck rarely draws attention, its role is indispensable. It protects communities from flooding, prevents environmental damage, and ensures essential infrastructure keeps flowing. What might seem like a grunt job is in truth a guardian's labor, quiet, efficient, essential. The day's work doesn't start with noise, but with quiet preparation. Parked at the edge of the street, the jetter and vacuum truck rest like giants waiting to breathe. The crew moves with practiced rhythm, checking the water supply, inspecting hoses, adjusting valves, and making sure every part of the system is ready. These steps may seem simple, but they are the foundation of safety and efficiency. Without them, the mission could not begin. Soon the moment arrives. Heavy hoses are pulled from their reels, guided carefully across the pavement toward the drain opening. The clamps are locked, fittings secured, and pressure lines tested. Then, with a low rumble, the pump awakens. A surge of water bursts forward, blasting into the dark channels below. Grease, sediment, and tangled roots that have been building for months are forced to release their grip. At the same time, the vacuum hose roars to life, drawing up the mixture of water and waste with relentless strength. Together, jetting and vacuuming create a powerful cycle, breaking down obstructions and clearing them away. As the minutes unfold, the team's focus never wavers. They keep their eyes on the gauges, listening to the rhythm of the pumps, adjusting the pressure when needed. Sometimes the blockage is soft, yielding quickly to the force of the water. Other times, it is stubborn, layers of hardened material clinging to the pipes. In these moments, patience is key. The jetter's nozzle is guided slowly back and forth, chiseling through the obstruction bit by bit until the pathway opens once more. The work is not only underground, above ground traffic must be managed, safety cones placed and pedestrians guided safely past the site. 
The operators balance the power of industrial machinery with the responsibility of working in public spaces. Every action is deliberate, from the angle of the hoses to the speed of the pump. What may appear as simple labor is, in reality, a choreography of precision. Midway through the toughest challenge appears. A long stretch of pipe is almost completely closed, filled with thick grease hardened by time. The jetter attacks the mass with high-pressure water, slicing into the buildup. Slowly, the dark sludge begins to flow, and the vacuum system seizes the moment, pulling tons of material up through its massive hose into the sealed tank. The smell is harsh, the volume immense, but the machine does not falter. This is what it was built for, handling what no other tool can manage. As the blockage gives way, the sound within the pipe changes. The deep gurgle becomes a rushing stream, the unmistakable sign of water flowing freely again. For the crew, it is a moment of satisfaction, the invisible reward of seeing a hidden system restored to health. The city above will never notice what happened here today, yet its safety depends on it. The work continues from one site to the next. Each location presents its own conditions. Sediment packed from storm runoff, tree roots weaving through cracks, or debris washed in from the street. In each case, the approach shifts slightly, sometimes more pressure, sometimes slower passes, always guided by skill and experience. The vacuum truck keeps filling, its tank gradually swallowing the waste of an entire neighborhood's hidden network. As the final minutes approach, the crew begins the closing routine. The hoses are retracted, still dripping with water, and carefully washed before storage. The nozzles are inspected for wear, the clamps checked, and the tank sealed tight for transport. Even cleanup has its order. Rinse, coil, secure. Nothing is left behind but clean drains and restored flow. Back at the yard, the truck undergoes its own cleansing. The tank is emptied and sanitized, the hoses flushed, the pumps cooled. Every note of the day's work is logged, the volumes removed, the conditions found, the challenges solved. These records tell the story of unseen guardianship, of a team that battles what lies beneath so that the city above can function without interruption. And so, when the day ends, the jetter and vacuum truck stand ready again, their engines silent, their hoses coiled, waiting for the next call. Few will ever notice their presence, but their impact is everywhere. In streets that don't flood, in neighborhoods safe from contamination, in infrastructure kept alive by steady, unseen hands. This is more than machinery in action. It is the quiet promise that even the dirtiest jobs can serve the highest purpose keeping communities clean, healthy, and strong. The truck pulls into position, its hoses coiled and pumps ready, every piece of equipment inspected and primed. The crew checks pressure gauges, verifies safety gear, and stands at the edge of a job that often goes unseen, yet is vital to the city's well-being. They connect the hose to the drain, secure the fittings, and with a hiss, the high-pressure jetter begins. Water blasts forward, 
slicing through grime, grease, roots, any obstacle that is built up over time under the streets. The vacuum system hums into life seconds later, pulling out the loosened debris with powerful suction. Mud, sludge, and water swirl together as they're drawn into the sealed tank. Traffic and passers-by move around the work zone, but for the crew, the focus is elsewhere. Listening for changes in sound, monitoring tank levels, ensuring no leaks or splashes escape their control. The jetter moves slowly, precisely, over every section of pipe that needs cleaning. Where the blockage is lighter, water pressure alone is enough. Where it's thick, the jetter makes slow, confident passes, breaking down the buildup bit by bit until flow is restored. As hoses are withdrawn and equipment cleaned, there's a sense of quiet accomplishment. The waste captured, the pipes cleared, the street returned to its usual rhythm. Back at base, the truck will be rinsed down, inspected, and readied for the next call. Though the work is often hidden, its effects are felt in clean drains, safe neighborhoods, and infrastructure that just works, without the city ever having to think about it.